Hey, well, this is a uh, little quick video for a viewer who sent me a question on my Alesis DM6 and how I got it to work with Studio Drummer. So uh, we're going to take a look at both pieces. I'm going to show you how I have it set up uh, here in, in my basement and uh, hopefully this will clear up any confusion you might have. So check it out. <laughs> First thing we're going to take a peek at is this guy here. Um, just turn it on. And some people will tell you that you have to hit this pattern button because when you strike these guys, uh, it lights up there. And some people think that you have to hit this and send it into this mode, which doesn't light it up. Basically, all it does is quit, keep your headphones from working through this unit. You don't have to do that. You can. It'll work both ways. I have a USB cable back here coming out. This black guy right here, he's coming out and coming into the Mac over here. And I'm going to try and keep you in focus. Okay, so inside of Contact, if you have this set up, um, and you can choose when you install all this stuff, what pieces and parts. Uh, so I just have sort of the bare minimum for the drums because that's all I use. Uh, so we're just going to use the session kit light. You double click on that and it comes up like such. Um, hang on, I'm trying to see around my camera here. You can go into different views of this. So this is options. If you go to kit, and I'm going to hang on. There we go. If you go to kit, it will show you the kit and what's happening. Um, so Options is where you take care of a lot of the trouble spots, but uh, we're going to start here. First things first, uh, we're going to scroll back down, and we're going to look at this right here. I need to refocus again. That one. This is the main trouble spot. If I hit these drums here, uh, they won't show up here. Because when this is in channel A, uh, won't go. You're going to have to take my word because I can't see this in the camera, but the, the first one on the list is Omni. So you switch that. See how it says Omni now? Maybe. Come on, focus. That's as good as it'll focus, but it says Omni right here. MIDI channel Omni. That is the key. Now, when I hit the drums, uh, it should be showing up. You can see the little flasher dude there. And Oh man, it's so hard to see in this camera. There you go. Now you can see where it's lighting up. A lot of times what happens out of the box for some reason with this kit, this drum here, the first tom, refocus there, that first tom wants to be the same as the crash symbol. So you have to edit the drum set. And uh, I'm going to try and show you how to do that. So back here in options, um, you can select by MIDI. So what I can do is I can hit this tom, and I'm gonna do that while the camera's on this over here. And you should be able to see it. Oops, hang on, I need to say select by MIDI. There we go. Now that that's lit up, I can hit this and it changes to tom one. So you can say, okay, what do I want that instrument to be? And yours may start out as a crash, you uh, select Tom 1, click, and then hit uh, Apply Changes. And so actually now, if I wanted to say, you know, make that the ride symbol, Apply Changes, now every time I hit that drum, it's going to make a ride. So that's how you, I don't know, reassign the sounds that are coming out of each one. So that's how you do that. So essentially now we should have our USB hooked up over to here. Uh, we make sure that again on this guy up here, trying to focus man, that we've got Omni and that we've got uh, you know our toms assigned to the right place and usually that takes care of you after you get that all assigned for the first time. It takes a little bit to get this all set up the way you want it. But after you do that you just go up to the old save button uh, wherever the heck that is. I've only used it once. Um, 
trust me there's a save button somewhere maybe it's even up here I can't remember hell's bells like I said I've only done it once but you can you can save you can save this whole thing and then you don't have to reset it up every time it just when you enter away it goes uh, if you fire up rock band or garage band or whatever the hell that thing's called it should work right out of the box and so should logic and then uh, essentially you just got to do the same exact thing through logic or garage band if you want to use the studio drummer plugin uh, to record so hopefully hopefully that all made sense and sorry I got this all hooked up and we didn't use any of the audio from over there but that's okay uh, we don't need to so that's kind of the quick little tutorial on how to make this work for you. Hope that helps, man.